going on everybody welcome to another what's sold on ebay video so this is for the week of even though it's more than seven days march 22nd and that goes through the 31st i like to do four what sold on ebay videos in the span of the month so i do it like the first through the seventh the eighth through the 14th and so on and so forth and the last week of the month i just tack on all of the extra days in the month so this goes to the 31st so it's not technically a seven day time frame but uh but the sales, they're coming in. If people are telling you that times are rough and they're slow and people aren't buying uh, in the middle of this nuts pandemic that we're going through, uh, they're lying to you because the stuff is uh, doing well, at least on my end. I'm grateful for that. Hopefully it continues. The actual day I recorded this video, the sales were a little bit slower, but they're coming in. So I cultivate 10 interesting listings, bolos that you should look for when you're in the thrift stores, when I do these videos. And hopefully you'll learn something. This first one, I'm going to warn you, is kind of more of a, hey, look at this sale. It's kind of cool. Uh, rather than, are you actually going to find this in the stores? Because it's super rare. But I'm starting off with this vintage Kenwood receiver. So this was at Goodwill. And the minute I hear the cart rolling and the doors open, I like basically run to the back of the store, depending on where I am in the store to see what is new coming out because there are other resellers there and you know how it goes like competition can get fierce so this was a very very small goodwill i saw this it looked awesome it was huge i threw it in my cart immediately and i'll give you the hard numbers on this so the buyer paid 630 for this i sent them an offer it was listed for 700 i think it was 10 percent off they took it they paid just over 50 in shipping and then 44 in tax so they're about 725 or so all in and I paid $19.99 for this. This is a classic case where the general manager who I know well in this particular store, I get to know all of the general managers in the stores and their, their like assistants um, because I like to know their styles. I like to know what's going on. I, I ask questions about what's happening in the back. I know basically every store in my area's um, online budget for the stuff that they pull to sell, to put just on shop goodwill. Uh, because I like to know. I want to I want to know and I want to know how I can navigate my business around them. So this is a case where the guy was kind of overwhelmed with donations. This made it out onto a cart. And then the GM who I'm speaking of uh, in this particular store, he was the one that was ringing me up and he almost pulled it out of my cart. And I was like, I looked at him and I was like, yeah, don't touch that. <laughs> you leave that be. Uh, and the reason I told him to leave it be is because he... Uh, I think he was going to try to plug it in, like maybe test it for me. Um, but he didn't need to do that because I had already at least done that. So I knew the thing would power up in the store, but I was willing to take the $20 uh, chance on it because this particular receiver, the KR9600 model, there's part out value there too. So even at 20 bucks, even if it didn't work, like I would have still probably made some money on it, regardless of whether the thing you know was fully functional or not. So yeah, I told them to uh, kindly put that right back in the, in the cart. Don't you dare pick that thing up because the thing weighs almost 60 pounds. So it was a huge sale. And uh, yeah, the buyer actually left me glowing feedback. I had this packed and shipped professionally by FedEx. I learned this lesson. Last year, I sold a vintage movie projector for in between six and $700. And I shipped it myself and it arrived slightly damaged. So I had to refund the buyer some money. It all worked out. They didn't care. Again, that thing could have been parted out for twice the value I sold it at, even at the $600 mark. So both of us were happy at the end of the day. No big deal. But I've learned a lesson. Like when you get something like this, it's delicate, rare. Leave it up to the professionals to, to ship it. Don't do it yourself. And I paid extra for the, the, the service that they provided. So even though that buyer only paid around 50 bucks to have it shipped, um, because I'm in Ohio and it went to Indiana, uh, I, it was worth them taking the extra time because again, I only paid twenty dollars for the thing. So sweet, sweet sale. Really, you know, really pleased that that came in, especially during the uh, coronavirus outbreak. I mean, good lord, like, tell me I don't, you know, I didn't need that. I de we definitely need it. Um, okay, so you're gonna see in my videos, I mentioned these wet to straight flat irons a lot, and I'm putting this one in here to like ingrain it into your head to look for them when you're in the stores they always it's like the easiest 30 bucks you'll ever make and they're always priced at 2.99 3.99 what i pay i paid 3.99 for it 
This thing sold for full price, 30 bucks. They paid 9.90 in shipping and $2.23 in tax. Easy sale, look at the fronts, all scratched up. This is another thing where like novice thrifters won't look at it because of the condition that it's in, but not when you know, you know. When you see wet to straight, put it in your cart because you're gonna make 30 bucks on it no matter what. That's a that's a great return on the, uh, on the $3.99. So keep your eye out for these. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, next one. Brookstone, okay, so if people tell you, uh, yeah, sales are slow, the only thing that people are buying on eBay are the uh, essential items. Like the only thing that, you know, Amazon is prioritizing shipping only essential stuff, toilet paper or hand sanitizer. Stop, stop the madness. No one needs a Brookstone foot massager right now. I, you know, if you can figure out a way um, to use this for like medical purposes, wonderful. And, and you know maybe there maybe there is a an essential use for something like this. I can't see it, uh, <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, they paid full price for this thing, hundred bucks, thirty three twenty to have it shipped, six dollars in tax, so they're one thirty nine nineteen all in. I paid nine ninety nine for it at it's somewhere in between seven ninety nine and nine ninety nine. I don't know, it was it was cheap, but um, the point with me showing you like the shipping price also and the, and the taxes, the buyer paid a total of $140 for this item during a pandemic that we won't see for another hundred years. So people are still spending money on non-essentials. They're spending a lot of money on non-essentials. Don't be afraid to price high and don't think for one second that because times are changing, even though it's on a temporary basis, that people aren't going to buy things they want to buy, regardless of whether they need it or not. So, you know, keep that in mind. The Brookstone, there are a lot of like Brookstone massagers that sell well. This is um, like the back massagers. This is the, this is a foot massager. Some of the other ones that have like the, the red lights and the, the circles on them that vibrate, those ones sell pretty well as well. But, uh, but yeah, this thing was clean, good, good unit. I made a ton of money on it and I'm happy at the end of the day. So let's go to the next one. Um, here's another thing. Is this 100% necessary? It's Nespresso. I say this in my other videos. When you see Nespresso, no matter what it is, look it up. I've sold a milk frother recently. I may have sold another Nespresso uh, cappuccino maker recently. Whenever I see that brand, I always do a double check. So this is the D90 model. It worked. And I got full price for this one as well. Yeah, $59.99, $17.10 to ship, $6.26 in tax. So they're $83.35 all in, and I only paid $7.99 for it. So nothing to um, say here other than anytime you see Nespresso, look it up. Put it in your cart, look it up later. This next item is, uh, is a fun one. So um, someone actually bought this, and then they were a non-paying bidder, so I had to relist it. But... Back, I want to say maybe three or four months ago, I went to an estate sale. In this particular estate sale, they were advertising um, eBay sellers specifically, like, hey, we have a ton of stuff. We, we want the bulk buyers to come in. And whenever I see them advertise like that, I think to myself, like, okay, are you guys also eBay sellers and you're just trying to dump the junk that you couldn't sell? Like, is that the thing? So I'm always weary when I say, you know, resellers are welcome. So anyway, I went to this estate sale, and long story short, the uh, the father had passed away. He was like a collector of a bunch of stuff, and they just they had so much stuff. They were overwhelmed. There was three of them trying to hold the estate sale. It wasn't one of those where let's go hire a company and they'll price everything out and you know collect a commission and all that stuff. It was just the family holding the estate sale, and they did this actually two two weekends like back to back because they had so much stuff. I went to both of them actually, uh, both weekends. But on the original buy, um, I went down into the basement. The, the second weekend after that, they cut everyone off from going in the basement. I don't know why, maybe they cleaned it out. Maybe someone went downstairs and bought all of like the tools and the random stuff that was sitting down there. But this was like tucked away, like underneath the bunch. It was all dusty and like the basement was gross. I mean, it looked like it, it wasn't in like livable condition. You, I mean, you couldn't even really like do your laundry down there. It was just like totally disheveled. And this was tucked away underneath a bunch of random stuff. So 
I'm pennies into this at this point based on all of the other things that I bought from that estate sale. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's a Ouija board, it's old, it's from the 60s. The board was in great condition. The, uh, the box had some wear, but just, to, just to, for me, it's a cool piece. There are other people that are like, yo, I wouldn't touch that. I wouldn't put that in my house. Um, okay, well, anyways, I got $35 for this and uh, 970 to ship, a buck 86 in tax. So there are 46, 56 all in, and again, a dollar pennies into it based on the amount of stuff that I ended up buying from that estate sale. And I've sold off, I think almost 100% of everything now. So that's a that's a good a good sale. Like I'm a Halloween fan, like I'm a horror movie fan. You know, I, I like this kind of thing. So uh, yeah, anyway, sold, we're happy. This, all right, Toy Story 3. I didn't even know this toy existed. It's uh, Evil Dr. Porkchop. And I will tell you that when I was playing with this, it was hard to like open compartments and close them. And like, it. I don't, I don't know. And then, you know, throughout the course of me doing my research on the actual toy, after I had brought it home, it, um, that it was a theme, like it was just kind of a clunky toy, but it's very, very rare. And you know, there are a lot of uh, people out there that absolutely love the uh, Toy Story series. I mean, you know, myself included, especially Toy Story 3. So the battery compartment in this was slightly corroded, but if you take baking soda and like a little bit of water and just mix it in a cup, use a Q-tip, you kind of clean it out. If the like, um, if the pieces haven't completely rusted in the battery compartment, you're okay. You can get rid of that corrosion and the batteries will work. So that was the case in this, with this toy. I had to clean it out a little bit, but once I did that, the batteries worked fine. Everything lit up, the lights and the sounds, the whole, uh, the whole nine yards. And you can, you can kind of see a little bit right there of some of the corrosion, but, but I cleaned it off nicely. It worked fine. And then this was global shipping, I think. So they paid, yeah, they paid full price, $18.95 to have it shipped. So $78.94. And I don't think that includes all of like the global shipping charges that come with buying something and having it shipped internationally. And I paid $4.99 for the unit. So it's a really rare toy. Look for Toy Story 3 toys in general because they all sell relatively well. You can get a premium price for this particular toy, but just know like, you're gonna you're gonna have issues like opening compartments and closing them. It's just a big, it's a clunky toy, but it sells well. So keep your eye out for it. It's a good bolo. Okay, so Rock and Bach. If you're used to playing with Lego and like how easily the 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 pieces fit together, when you play with Rock and Bach, like if you're asking me my opinion, and this is a popular toy, they don't they're terrible. I don't I didn't like putting this together at all. So. I want to see when is this? Uh, let's see when I listed this because it's been. It, this is. Uh, I thought I could see down here where what the time I listed it. Anyway, I bought a a bucket of this in the same Goodwill that I found that Kenwood receiver, and it was marked two ninety nine. And there were just hundreds upon hundreds of parts in this, so I've made like two three hundred dollars just on that bin for a for a buy cost of two ninety nine. This was the last component. Um, of all of the stuff, all of the like sets that were in there that I put together and sold off. And this sold for th full price, $39.99, $30.30 to have it shipped, $4.39 in tax. So there's $74.68 all in. And again, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at this for pennies at this point, but I don't, I didn't like the way the rock and box sets fit. If you guys are familiar with it and you've, you've played with these or you had them in the past, leave me a comment and let me know how you in, how you like them because they sold well they sold really well right after I listed them like just before the Christmas time um, and I can't remember okay so yeah this was missing the uh, well it wasn't missing the green front loader and the control center I parted those out and sold them individually which is why this one took a little bit longer I guess but I didn't like putting it together they were hard to put together like Legos is so seamless like Legos fit better than the Mega Blocks do and they certainly fit better together than these rock and bach blocks but you know what there's still a market for them like if you go and just search rock and bach in um in ebay and then click the solds you'll see there's a market for this for this stuff they sell well so that was a really a really good score for me i was happy about that and i'm i'm glad to see this stuff go so anyway good sale okay so we're coming into springtime here and um 
parasol, you'll see what you'll find in, in thrift stores. And, and this is another one that I found from Goodwill is a lot of the like Walmart plastic hummingbird feeders. They're cheap, they're gross, they have mold in them. This was nice and clean and it was glass. It was like amber glass, it was beautiful. It was like ombre, so the color the colors changed uh, as you like looked up and down the, the globe. A beautiful piece. I'll show you some more pictures here. I just, um, I loved it. I think I bought this in November and um, there's the logo right there, Parasol. It was in a box and the hum the actual feeder was separated from the glass. It didn't look like anything uh, that would that would catch your eye other than, you know, if you know to look for these things. But um, so I scooped it up. I ended up paying, where is this, the hummingbird? I paid $3.99 for it and it sold for, so I had it listed for $89.99 because at the time I was doing the comps, there was a sold comp for around 80 or 90 bucks. And I've had this for a while, even though I know I could probably command a little bit of a higher price. Maybe if I had waited into May or June and I, I may have been able to get the $80 price tag. It's like, we're in coronavirus. I want every sale I can make. You, who knows what the future holds? Like, are they gonna lock us up until June? I just wanted to move the thing. So lady reached out and said, you know, here's here's an offer. I countered and I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna if you, if you take this deal, you know, it's on me, no, no worries, stay safe, blah, 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 blah. So she jumped on it, it was 55 bucks, 14.90 to have it shipped, 4.26 in tax. So she was 74.16 all in, and like I said, I only paid 3.99 for it. So I'm happy to get 55 bucks out of the sale at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, she's gonna love the thing too. So, you know, for 90 bucks, getting it for 55 looks like a wonderful deal for her too, so. It's a win-win right there and move on from that. Good sale. Okay, so if you ever see this Epson, where I almost kept this, it's the GTS 50. These things are amazing. This thing can scan a document. I'm telling you like, and it's designed for like commercial use. It scans documents in seconds. It is like a speed demon document scanner. And I use for my business, for my receipts, I use um, shoebox, but I pay them around 90 to $150 a month, which like in my brain right now, we're like, we're trying to, you know, cut corners on everything. Like, where can I save? Like, what, how can I not, how can I reduce my expenses overall? I want to kind of cut shoebox out of my expenses because I think it's, especially when you have something like this, it's a waste of money. So I almost kept this because of how well it worked, but this is a, a serious bolo. You are guaranteed to sell this unit. So when I listed it, I listed it high. They sell in like the 80, $85 range, but I listed it at 95 knowing I would take a, take a best offer. And sure enough, you know, I, I uh, someone put in an offer of 85 and I accepted it. So 2555 to have the thing shipped, uh, 953 in tax. So they paid $120.08 for this unit and I paid $5.99 for it. This may have been in one of my haul videos, so like, don't quote me on the, on, the, on the buy price. It's going to be close. Maybe I paid $6.99 for it. I don't know, but I think it's $5.99. Um, GTS50, type that into uh, your eBay search and then check the solds. There, there are a ton of them. And I did a, a little video showing, I think I did a video. Let me see, let me make sure. Did I do a video? Yeah, so I did a little bit of a video showing that the uh, the thing works as intended. And you can see, you know, 21 product ratings with a 4.7 uh, average. So if you keep your eye, if you keep your eye out for this, guaranteed money right there. So that's a really good sale. All right, and the last one is the Brady Bunch. Now I don't usually look up uh, media, I don't pay much attention to CDs. I don't pay attention to, to DVDs much. I know there's some, somebody out there watching is going to go, oh, you're passing off a ton of money. And I know I know I am for sure. But this one was obvious. So the the exterior of this DVD box set was like a green shag rug like that you would see like in the house of the Brady Bunch. So I thought that was ridiculous when I looked at it. And uh, so I opened it up to verify that all the discs were there. There are actually 21 discs in this entire set and it's a bolo. People are looking for this. Like, look it up, Brady Bunch, complete series, DVD, whatever keywords I have in the title here. Look look it up on your end to uh, to verify it. It's a, it's a, it is definitely a bolo and that's why I brought it home. So I paid $4.99 for this and they paid full price. $44.99, $9.90 to have it shipped, $4.87 
in tax. So what are they? They're just under 60 bucks all in. Yeah, 59.76. And I mean, what a fun thing to have. You know, if you're locked up at home right now, you have much, much to do. You <laughs> watch the entire five season or I think it's five or six seasons of, uh, of the Brady Bunch. Okay, it's kind of fun. But yeah, this was like, this stuck out like a sore thumb because of the like shag rug carpet exterior that it had on it. So anyway, it's been a good week of sales. I'm pleased. I have no complaints. If you are struggling, just keep up with it. You can't go to thrift stores right now in most areas because everybody's on lockdown. All the businesses are closing. Stay positive. Scour mark, uh, Facebook Marketplace. I just bought... Um, 32, 31 or 32 shoes from a woman on Facebook Marketplace. I paid 70 bucks for all of them. There, there are deals there for sure. And like I've said this before, but as the uh, the days, the weeks, and the months go on, people are going to be pressed to like generate some cash. So you want to capitalize on that. And that will help them because you're going to give them the money they need. And that helps you because you can get inventory. So keep it up. All of these items can be found in thrift stores and all of these items can be found on Facebook Marketplace. So if you can't do the thrift store thing right now, look for every one of these items at, on Facebook Marketplace. And if you find one and you're able to get it at a good price, please comment in the comment section. Uh, that would make me extremely happy to know that you learned something from this video and lo and behold, found it on Marketplace, flipped it on eBay and made a little bit of money. So anyway, please, a couple of things like the video that helps me and obviously subscribe if you haven't subscribed now in the um like days and weeks coming up not only am i going to do more of these what sold on ebay videos to give you guys an idea of what's currently selling but uh i might be doing some um sba loan help videos and and things along that line to kind of help you and your business outside of like what our core um our core tasks are on a daily basis. So keep that in mind. Like, leave your comments, please subscribe. I'll put a link for the Facebook group, the resell Facebook group down below. Join all of those things. If you're willing to learn, I'm willing to teach you. So thank you very, very much. Keep the faith and we'll see you in the next video.